Hello and welcome back to our Tome YouTube channel. My name is Catherine. In our last video, I have showed you how easy it is to make a measurement with our optical biometer. And today we are going a little bit more into details in the topography and K reading information. So, as I told you maybe in the last video, we take the topography with placido rings. We are using nine rings in total with each ring 256 measurement points. So we carry a lot of information in just one measurement. In this measurement in total, you get, of course, your standard K readings. Here you can see all of them. And then we take the average for your IOL calculation. If you do not select it individually, for example. Additionally to this, we can also display the values in different diameters because standard is 2.5. Yes, that's right. But some of you are using three millimeters. And if you have a very irregular cornea, you can even use two millimeters and then you have one. So this is a very nice feature additionally. For new ray tracing formulas, the big information is needed of the topography and this is the reason why we are using up to 5.5 millimeter which is fully enough for ray tracing technology such as Oculix Barrett or Ulpen. When we click on topography then you can see a full information of the topography map. Additionally we are having the astigmatism axis which we can remove here just with one click to get a deeper overview of it and the cylinder is also displayed here. Next to it you will find the eccentricity value which is displayed in 5.5 millimeters. In some formulas only the average central corneal power is needed. This is why we have displayed it here along with it. We do also split up the topography into three different segments and this is the Fourier analysis. This gives you additional information right away with just one click. Here we divide the cornea into the regular astigmatism, into the asymmetry and also the higher irregularity. And here with just one simple information you can see if this is a completely irregular cornea or not. The values are displayed in different colors green like a traffic light basically, basically green is for normal values and red are abnormal values. When we go back also to keratometry we have two more values displayed which is one is the asymmetry index and the other one is the regularity index also here with two colors so that you can yeah, see right away if this is a normal value or not. And this is it for today and I hope you liked it. If you like it, give us a thumbs up and su subscribe to our YouTube channel. We would be happy to see you back again with some more information on it. Thanks. Bye.